Hi, this is Pavel, and this is my homework for C-sharp uh, from chapter 4, uh, exercise 14 from uh, the book uh, C-sharp 2012, how to program, and uh, the assignment calls for a creation of a date class that will uh, include uh, only automatic, property, automatic properties, uh, month, day, and year, so there will be no uh, input check-in, we will simply assume that the values the, uh, that are entered are correct. And then we will provide a method that will display the date uh, with slashes in between uh, the month, the day, and the year. And we will demonstrate the functionality. Uh, this should be fairly simple, so let's get started. All right, so uh, here's my main, so let's create a, a class. Uh, add class, and I'll call it uh, date. Here it is, and like I said, uh, the assignment calls for automatic properties. In other words, there will be no uh, variables. And the properties are as follows. It would be public um, integer for the day. We will get a set. Uh, we will do the same for uh, so that's day for the month. Month get and set. Not set up. Just set. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I forgot the returned uh, return type, which would be integer, of course, and uh, set. That's better. And uh, a year. So it would be public integer year get and set. And that's all the properties we need. Uh, we will do the constructor to initialize the uh, all the all the properties. We will get the uh, actually I think we'll get the month first. Uh, integer month. Yeah, I'll, I'll change these the order so they're in the same order like for the uh, constructor. Just a little OCD. Anyway, so integer day and integer year. And we will assign these, uh, these variables to our properties. So we got the property month. We'll hold the month. Property day will hold the day. And property year will hold a year. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, there's something. Oh, we have to provide a method display date that displays the month with the day and year with the separated with slashes. Alright, so uh, uh, public, there will be no return type. Uh, let's call it display day. We don't have to pass any parameters. And um, let's output the format, which will simply be console at right line. Oh, am I gonna format it? All right, so it's gonna be month, day, and year. Um, I will. Okay, so it will be. First, there will be number with two digits. Two digits, just to make sure that, like, if it's a single digit day, like one, two, three, four, five, up to nine, there will be a zero in front of it. In other words, it will be zero, one, zero, two, zero, three. Um, it's not really needed, but I think it just looks better. So that's the month. There will be a slash in between uh, zero. I mean, sorry, that will be the one, the two, that will be month, day, oops, slash again, and uh, the year. 
which will be the same uh, thing, but it's going to be actually year four digits. Yes, four digits, I mean, uh, uh, it could just do two, the last two, but we'll just output the whole whole year. All right, so we got the, uh, we have to assign to the displaced holders. We have to assign some uh, values to these placeholders. So the first will be our property month, uh, then it would be our property day, and then the year. Mm, I think that might be all. Is there anything else? And just to test the capabilities. All right, well, so let's test it. Um, we have to, of course, uh, uh, initialize, uh, create the object. So that would be um, our class is called date. Date equals new date, and we'll have to pass uh, some values. Um, I don't know, May fifth, uh, two thousand fourteen. I don't know, uh, just to test the single digits. Oh, that, that I did it all wrong. I'm already formatting in 2014. And uh, now we'll have to call the method. So our object date will display the date. There are no parameters, uh, no arguments passed. So uh, and that's all. Well, um, let me just do console that read line so we can read the input before it disappears um i think that might actually do it well let's test it yes we got 05 slash 05 2014 now if we got a uh, may let's say december 15th It's still two digits. All right, so it seems to be working. I um, mean, you can obviously this is very simple, not much of a functionality, but it will show you like you know we have the automatic properties instead of any variables, and you can assign the arguments that the user would supply to those uh, automatic properties, and then just display them. All right, so um, I think that's all for now, uh, and I'll see you with the next homework.